Greetings, beautiful people. So, I'm gonna talk about a couple things here that's gonna be pretty interesting as far as, uh, you know, when it comes down to, uh, you know, having a job. Should you have a job? Should you not have a job? But here's how I look at it, okay? If, if you do have a job, okay, there's pros and cons to this, okay? One, you're making money because you cannot self-sustain yourself. And, you know, this is basically, you have a job and basically it's based on decisions that you have made in your life. Uh, whether that have been going to school or just not managing your finances properly. Or it was passed down through, uh, you know, your family line, which all had a poverty mentality. So, um, you know, being a uh, an employee was just what you were taught to be. You know what I mean? Now, I'm in that boat, you know what I mean? But I I've always been... A very strong character person I have a very strong leadership mentality so I got promoted at the age of uh, you know 19 my first job was at blockbuster video and I started as a regular employee at the age of you know 18 uh, I could have been 17 when I was turning 18 I don't remember all I know is I remember that I had this job because I wanted to buy my first car I didn't want to be the only kid in 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 high school without a car I wanted to be one of the cool kids you know what I'm saying but check this out so as a manager, okay, you can work hard because you have a lot of responsibilities on you, you know what I mean? Or you could take the easy way out and just be an employee because all the responsibilities ain't on you. Only thing is you're not going to get paid as much money as the manager or the, you know, the, the, the business operator, you know what I mean? So there's a way to work smart as a manager, okay? Now, as a manager, you can... And, and listen, I've done this my entire life in the business world, okay? What I did, and, and, and if you have employees working under you, they're going to work 20 times harder for you. And I'm going to tell you how this works, all right? And the way I do it is I never push my power over anybody. I never uh, try to look down on anybody. On the contrary, everybody that I've ever worked with, I've looked at them and let them know that they are my business partners. They are brand ambassadors, whatever the brand may be. They are my business partners. That's how I looked at them. And I and I, I literally taught them everything I know. But the reason why is because as a leader, okay, you don't want to get stuck because as you're going to have a lot of responsibilities as a manager. And I'm going to get into how this ties into, you know, this whole consciousness shit and everything. All right. So stay tuned and pay attention. So what I do is now, see, a regular employee won't have that many duties or responsibilities. But what I'll do is I'll tell them, hey, I'm going to teach you something. It's going to be called a duty of responsibility. All right. So a manager is going to have many different tasks that have to get done and they get audited by like loss prevention and, you know, the the, the, the real big people like in charge, like, like home office. You know what I mean? They'll come and they'll audit operations which is basically paperwork loss prevention money management uh ensuring that all the money is 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 bought to the bank on time and nothing sitting in the safe you know for safety reasons what if you get robbed and all the money gets uh uh you know taken from the business when that money belonged in the bank to begin with you know what i mean or you're also going to get uh managed on inventory Meaning is customers stealing from you or are your own employees stealing from you? But this will all tie into how you look at them as business partners. Because if you're empowering them in the job, you know what I mean? Most, more likely than not, they're going to care for the company as much as you are. And don't forget, you're not there all the time. When, when you're off, they're the ones that are running the business. They're the business operators, including the assistant that you may have. You know what I mean? So if you're a dirtbag and you treat your employees like shit, they're going to steal from you and they're not going to give a fuck about the company, all right? Now, they're there because they need the paycheck, you know what I'm saying? But they also are there because if you, let's say, are a dirtbag and you're not sharp, they could steal from under your nose because they know you ain't paying attention, you know what I mean? But if you're somebody who's sharp and is paying attention, they can never steal from you. And not only that, aside from being sharp, you know what I mean? You're, you're partnering with them as business partners. You know what I mean? You keep them motivated. So, for example, the duty of responsibility one employee may have, I'm going to be like, look, you're in charge of this duty and responsibility. So, these other employees are going to have to, you know, uh, address you when it comes to any issues that you may have. And now, the other employees will have 
different duties and responsibilities. You know what I mean? And then the, even the person who's got the original duty responsibility will have to report to that person that I originally assigned that duty responsibility to. So everybody has a duty of responsibility, okay? And now you as the leader will audit everything rather than having to do any kind of work. You know what I mean? You're the one that's there to make money. You're the one that's there to uh, ensure that the money's flowing in, the operations are done, loss prevention is on point. Somebody will be in charge of like counting your inventory at night because you keep an organized, uh, uh, you know, method of doing things. Plus the main thing that any business focuses on, customer service, okay? Customer service. You see, without the customers, okay, you ain't making money, the business ain't making money, and you ain't got no employees to pay because, because you don't have any money to pay them. Now, this is you working under a system, okay? Now, this is how a manager works smart because I came across managers who literally will have a termination bag looking to fire people or they'll do their audits and instead of coaching them and guiding them properly, what they'll do is they will just literally like they, they, they get like a fetish to, to yell at people just because they think they have power. When in meanwhile, if you're a manager, most of the time you ain't even getting paid that much money anyway. You know what I mean? So what the fuck is the big deal? Unless you're the CEO of the company, you know what I mean? And it's still not even your own money. It's not even your company. You're a business operator for somebody else's company. You know what I mean? So here's the pros about it, okay? You can make your life easier by having the people under you work for you and making them feel good about themselves because they're going to come into work happy to work for you. And you know what? The fact that they can, and you let them know, hey, the fact that you know all this, and, and I rotate duties and responsibilities between everybody. And the fact that they know this op these operations, they're more than likely to get promoted. So you keep them motivated with that, letting them know you could be promoted just because you know all this stuff, okay? So now, here's what happens. I've gotten a lot of people promoted in my life, okay? And I can tell you this right now, okay? This works, and it's a, it's a fact. The more people you empower and help to grow in anything that they're doing, the more you will grow because this is how I grew into the positions that I have been in to get paid a certain amount of money that I was actually pretty content with. But now consciousness sets in and says, you know what? It's really not even that much money. And, and you come to a point where you say, hmm, is having a job even something that is it really for you or is it for a, you consider it for losers? You know what I mean? Because here's the thing. As a manager, you're still an employee and you're still getting a paycheck. And the moment you collect a paycheck, your mind shuts down. You're already agreeing to doing a task, putting your time and energy into a job for the amount of money that you're getting paid. I don't care if you're getting paid $120,000 a year. Is that what your soul is worth? You know what I'm saying? So let's say, for example, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs don't work for money. They technically literally work for free. You know what I mean? What they focus on is cash flow. Cash flow. So now, here's the funny part. If you want to look at this as an energetic, spiritual way, okay? See, a lot of us look at things and instead of having a flow of energy, having energies work for us, like an entrepreneur, which is what you should be doing, you'd be a free, you know, person when you are working for yourself and you create something that, that is your business, and you're giving something of value to people and you're getting compensated for it in the form of money. Now, there's a lot of conscious people that'll say, oh, you know, I, having a job is bad and this and that, but let me tell you something, okay? I've seen a lot of conscious people that, that end up leaving their jobs and they don't even know what the fuck to do after they left their job. That's one. Two, people who actually have a job have to service customers, so they have to have a good attitude and high vibration to even attract customers anyway or to even have the the business of that customer anyway so you're actually even helping people have a better day to begin with just because you're interested in their business you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day it works the same way in a spiritual way okay you have to have a high vibration for energy to even work for you and this is energy see in this physical realm you need people to put that physical manifestation of money in your pocket anyway so it, it, and, and here's what happens. Certain people who are, you know, conscious and, and so they want to call themselves woke, all right? 
they don't have a job, they'll make videos and they're angry because other people are not woke or they're not in their, their level. You know what I mean? And this is equivalent to me running a business or being a business operator and looking down on my employees because they don't know what I know and be in the position of management that I have. See, the key is for me to teach them, empower them, motivate them, get them to that position and actually get them to work hard for you, okay? But be happy about working hard for you. You get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, without the employees, you're doing all the work your motherfucking self. You know what I'm saying? So here spiritually, let's say, you still need people because you get influenced by people. You you get you feed off their energy, they feed off of yours. When you sun gaze, do you think you're just you're just taking energy from the sun? The sun is taking energy from you too. Energy flows where attention goes. So if you're looking at the sun, the sun is taking your energy as well. The same way the sun is giving you back energy. Because it's a it's a it's it's a it's a give and take. See the law of reciprocity works like that. Alright? Unless you're just a parasite who just takes, takes, takes. Alright? If you have a business, for you to be successful, you need to have successful employees and strong employees trained by you. Because here's the thing, you can train a dog the same way and people are trained as well. You know what I mean? That's why you say, I trained my employee to be a good employee. I trained my employee, it all depends on you. Are you a good manager? Are you a good leader? Because you're managing that energy in your business to operate properly for you. So if you're a fucked up manager, right, then you're going to have fucked up employees. If you're a dirtbag to them, then they're going to treat you the same way and they're going to have the same mentality towards you and they might even steal from you, okay, which is stealing energy from you, stealing from your business. This is why it's important that if I have a channel, which I'm creating here, okay, and I'm giving you this information, I, my goal is to empower people. Okay, I don't care if it's only 15 people hearing it, but as long as those 15 people are empowered, then I did something good. Because you see, I'm talking on camera literally right now, but I can have an audience. It could be small or big, it doesn't matter. But my point is to just, to get the message across and empower people. But what good is it to have a large following and you're gonna sound like a narcissist on camera talking about, you know, look at the way I do things and you know, this is why this will never change. You see. There's hope for everything. Yeah, I, I can't stand when, when I hear things like there's no hope for humanity. That, that kind of bothers me because there is hope if enough people had the right mindset that there will be hope because we're so powerful. We create what we think and what we believe. If you believe that humanity has no hope, for you, humanity will have no hope. And a lot of the times, whenever somebody feels that way, there's a lot of, there's a lot of distortions, anger, and there's also a lot of misalignments in you you know what i mean if you're really looking at that outside of yourself in such a way you know what i mean and that's why I like movements when you see the word movements like movements like the MGTOW, you know men go their own way honestly man if you start to see and agree with a lot of the shit that this MGTOW movement because look at the word meant at the end movement they'll move your mentality wherever they want your mentality to be to control you and that's what movements are you know what I mean? Any kind of movement that you see all is based on separation anyway. What movement is based on, on getting people together for a, a common cause? What, what movement? Think about it. So these movements, if you see something wrong with women and you feel the need to entertain such a movement like the MGTOW movement, there's something wrong with you, okay? Because I have never experienced anything that can make me agree to even saying, hey man, women are this, women are that, or... Fuck that, men should go their own way. At the end of the day, we all need each other. You know what I'm saying? I don't care, you know, women are parasites to you, it's because you're being a parasite to yourself some way, in, one, in some way, shape or form. If the, mass, if the feminine energy is treating you that way, then you're a parasite to yourself in some feminine aspect of yourself, okay? You're, you're, you're tr people will treat you the way you treat yourself. I will keep saying this in every video if I have to, but this is 100% fact, okay? And I can tell you right now, living by experience, if you want more money, okay, it comes down to you. First of all, I have a job, okay, but it's because, again, I that's what I've been doing my entire life. I got laid off from my previous job, okay, and then I found myself in a similar situation that I'm talking about. So I'm not talking to you about things that I heard. I'm living the experience, and I keep telling you this in many different videos. Things that I speak about are things that I have experienced, so I'm able to speak about it. So now that I have a job, okay, 
I'm working, but I'm also managing my my money in a in a smart way so that I can because money is energy, right? So for you to have power, don't you have to have enough energy harnessed? So it's the same thing. You have to have enough money harnessed for you to be powerful enough to not have to sustain yourself under some company. You could do it yourself now. You could be self-sustained. You know what I mean? You're self-made. You get what I'm saying? Or are you made by somebody else? You get what I'm saying? But you see, I keep the mentality where I'm I'm taking the money, but I'm also working smart. See, a lot of people don't don't work smart because they don't have the knowledge on how to operate in a business. So if you're operating in their system, all you need to do is learn the system and find the easiest way out or find the, the path of least resistance where it's going to still make you successful. And look, for example, we have technology now. People can misuse technology or you can use technology to your advantage, okay? See, with technology, I can network and create a following to bring business to me or I can physically go out and knock door to door for people's business which is smarter where I can just sit down and do it from a, from a touch from from a, from the comfort of my chair and do it from and you know in front of me through a screen all right or I can go and knock door to door to do that even me giving this message to you okay I'm able to attract a wide audience rather than having to talk to one person at a time you know what I'm saying so it's it's just how this shit works with with Business in life, business in, 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 in a spiritual way, which is your body is your business. You know what I mean? Now, being balanced is being able to learn how to manage yourselves outside of yourself, which is all masculine. This is all masculine outside. But if that masculine aspect ain't looking to your liking, okay, then you need to tap into your feminine. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's where they'll try to tell you, oh, you know, they'll talk about, oh, the, 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 the masculine I mean, the, the feminine energy is, is no good and stuff like that. See, everything everything is spiritual, man. It don't matter what you do. You could be out selling cars. You could be out uh, in whatever business business you do. You know what I mean? And I made a, a, in my last video where I spoke to, where I spoke about, uh, you know, where I met some customers where I would have judged them by just looking at them. They didn't even look. They, they smelled a little bit. They, they, they looked homeless and... I would have never thought, you see, just talking to, to this gentleman, literally this guy's got to be my soul brother, somehow, okay? But he actually had more money than people who actually look like they got money. And and you know what I'm saying? Like, like this dude looked like he's homeless and he, he was, I, I made money off of him because he bought something and I built the rapport on him. So everything is about how you present to him because at the end of the day, you still, you selling yourself first. You know what I mean? You're selling yourself first before you sell something. How do you present yourself? You know what I mean? So it's the same way. You're not going to just have money come in your pocket. You still need people. You know what I mean? But when you sell something, you're not doing something to somebody. You're doing something for somebody. Okay? And then you present the product and then you negotiate. Okay? This is how the whole shit works. So what am I doing right now? I'm harnessing my money. Okay? And then I'm going to use it as an investment. I'm not just going to go spend my money. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to circulate it. The same way I circulate my energies. You see, I'm learning all this. So I'm I'm actually circulating my energies here on camera by giving you this information. All right. So I expand with something and then I birth it out. That's the expansion contraction part here. But people will only look at the expansion part as the good thing. I'm expanding because I'm getting more money. I'm You know what I mean? But where's the contraction part? Because there's a law of give and take. You know what I mean? So I feel like this is a message of a service to people. And I love this topic of money. So I'm gonna, I made a few videos already on money, all right? And I'm gonna continue to talk about money because this is what people are controlled by. This is what, pay. if you ask somebody something like, make, have three wishes, I guarantee you that one of those wishes are always gonna come down to having more money. You know what I'm saying? Three wishes, it could be any three wishes. A genie could pop into you, uh, pop, pop out of a lamp for you, and I guarantee you that one of those wishes are gonna be to have physical money, okay? But what would you talk about when it comes down to something that would self-improve yourself? You know what I mean? Or 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 create the freedom of this earth plane, all right? Where everybody is is happy and in harmony, all right? Like honestly, like just those little things to think about. So uh, we'll chat soon. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we will be talking soon.